Hey, hey, some DC Dual Force today, and they have dropped their newest comic book adventure, Blue Beetle number one from the New 52 run. I personally have very, very limited experience with Blue Beetle, but I'm excited to dive into this, see his origin story, especially leading up to going and watching the Blue Beetle movie, which I am very excited about. But let's not waste any time. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Sector 2, long ago, the end is near for the citizens of Space Sector 2. The militaries rally their final defenses. Their tanks take aim at the invaders. Oh, but they stand no chance against the Blue Beetle of the Reach. All right, and I just, I love that DC brings in their comic books into this DC Dual Force game. I think it just adds such a grounding element to it because, you know, the comics are what all these awesome IPs are really based in. So uh, let's get into it. Let's see, they'll tilt 10 damage to an enemy, summon the reach in the empty spaces, in your empty front row spaces, the five damage to an enemy, summon the reach. All right, let's just go into it. All right, some three threes, all right. I assume this deck is just gonna be absolutely wild since, you know, it's an adventure. Oh. All right, that's okay. KO an enemy recruit. Charge your leader three times. Oh, let's go. You can be reckless in these adventure games, and I love it. We'll blow up these little alien-looking dudes. Oh, this is super fun. A lot of these characters that I'm not familiar with, but that's okay. I think Blue Beetle's somewhere here on the side. We'll highlight him while we play. All right, maybe on the other side. All right, let's see. Give your leader 20 defense. Give a reach infiltrator plus 10. Does it say reach infiltrator? No. Enemy recruits everywhere get negative three, negative three. All right, summon the reach, so we'll trade. Oh, just summons one reach, okay. Clear the board, hit in the face. Same rules apply as regular matches. Clear the board, hit the face. So I wonder if this is the like previous owner of Blue Beetle. And then whenever he comes to Earth to attach to our boy, then we get to see like the destructive power that this thing's capable of. But Deal 10 damage to a random enemy. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Boom. This is neat. I always love these like really high health boss battles. It's always fun. It makes it feel more like you're just trading blows, dealing big deeps. I think that's super fun. They just have these tanks, I guess. And then this open fire. Uh, that doesn't matter. We're at 30. We're fine. Oh, they both did five. Okay. Tail all recruits. 
summon a reach battleship in your empty spaces. Oh my god. Does that just win the game? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Boom. 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 Oh man. How's he going to clear a board of 10 tens? I don't think he is. Not with that tank. Charge your leader three times. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's just wish fulfillment. Obviously, these cards will not be in the regular game. If so, we will all run Blue Beetle decks. There will be nothing else. That was fun. Alright, any remnants of resistance soon snuffed out. It's almost like he's sad about it. It's interesting. It started as a small scarab that infiltrated and attached itself to a citizen on this planet as a parasite all accumulating in this day when the Reach's invasion is complete. Soon the planet is cocooned and by Reach Hive Masters. A new Scarab sets off across the galaxy to find the next world to invade. Okay. The Guardian of Sector 2 is all too familiar with the threat of the Reach. It's cool that the Lantern Corps are involved in this. All damage malfunctions and launches itself to a far side of the universe. Earth. Before crashing down on the insignificant blue planet. Ooh, the Mayan ruins. Okay. 500 years later. El Paso High School. Jamie Reyes. Oh. Poor Jamie. The jocks celebrate their victory and their pummeling of Jamie. Oh, don't worry. Here's the rise up. There's the glow up. Uh oh. Uncle Paco. High school dropout and Jamie's second best friend. I like how it's second best. Warns the boys that if they mess with Jamie, they mess with him. The jocks that with Paco ask Jamie if he's ready for their friend Barinta del Vicino's. Ah, uh, man, I I do not speak very good Spanish. I can't pronounce these very well, and I'm sorry. And offers to give Jamie a ride. I like how that dude's like, oh, yeah. You don't want this. We'd jump you, old man, if we could. All right, what to do until that? Study hall, start the game. Draw two cards. When you play your recruit, adjacent characters get one HP. Create a free Paco. Dude, but we're just riding with Paco. Oh, man. We got halved. A group of villains known as the Brotherhood of Evil ransack a factory owned by local crime lord Ladama, while Wasp and Plasmus eviscerate the hired muscle. Oh. Poor guy. Phobia interrogates one of the men, scourging his mind for the ancient relic she's searching for. I assume the beetle. Inside the man's backpack, she finds what she's been seeking. Suddenly, an explosion blasts open the doors of the facility. I like how they're comic panels, but they slightly animate them a little bit. It just gives it that little bit more touch. And even if it's just wavy and it's basic, it just, I don't know, I like it. I think it's good. These comics are dope. Bone Crusher, Brutal, Coyote. The villains clash with one another. That's a kick. We'll fill that in the morning. Nearby. Paco and Jamie are heading their way to their friends. 
celebration. As they drive, a nearby factory erupts into flames. <gasps> the wasp flees, red backpack in hand. He is waylaid by the bone crusher. It's Baby Bane! The backpack flies into Paco's backseat. Whoa, look at this fight! Bro, they killed his ride! We call X to the Z exhibit and pimp this bad boy out. I need it. Oh no, Paco! Then he darts off with the backpack to distract the villains from Paco. They give chase. Fan of razors, one of which pierce the backpack and strike the beetle. The scarab inside the bag reacts and fuses on to Jamie. Oh, what a gnarly transformation. The blue beetle is born. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool little origin. Accidental gifting of powers to a high schooler. Sounds familiar. All right. First turn, create Paco in your hand and reduce his cost. Cool. Oh, these card backs are cool. Oh, and it's a heavy hand. We gotta... I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> That's better. Sonic Cannon's good. Alright, so he's going to be a tech guy. Um, what do you got here? Give Blue Beetle a random upgrade. Deal 3 damage to an enemy or recruit Blue Blue Beetle's damage increases when you play a gold card. So that's why there were so many gold cards in this. Hey, there's Paco is my guy. Counts as a gold. Whenever you gold card, whenever you play him, you still pay. Okay. So it should just be bronze. It should just be bronze. Oh, Jamie Reyes has his own card. After you play a thing, transform him into the Blue Beetle. Okay, so he wants to be in a higher mana deck. That's cool. So, let's... Oh, they're hidden, so... We'll play Paco next. Doesn't really matter where that goes, because it's hidden. It's not gonna... matter anyway. Alright, we, we gotta play this more of a traditional format. This is not the boss battle we were at, where we were destined to win. Whack-a-man. The whack. Hmm, all right, so I think we clear. One. Let's see what this upgrade is. Those four. Okay, so we just consistently get stronger and stronger. That's kind of cool. That's a cool concept. Oh, and you just deal four. Oh, man, that's cool. I guess, isn't he kind of a ranged character? What do these guys do? Create two shivs in your hand. Charge Bone Crusher. It's eight this turn. Is it two? I think we'll be all right. We'll pick on the little weak one first. Just play your discards and draws. A lot of new cards here. Got to read a little bit. Your recruits with Hunter get ambushed this turn. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's see what the upgrade... I don't know what... I don't, that didn't look like it did anything. Alright. All right, Cyborg, get there. Wayne Tech Engineer, create a gadget in your hand. All right. Always down for gadgets. What is it, start? Okay. Sweet.
Automatopoeia. I bet. I hope that dude Automatopoeia is like. I don't know, like orcs in Warhammer, where they just da 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 da, and that's this whole thing. All right, so that's a six. Let's so get a little. Oh, so the shivs run him up. Oh, okay, I see the their combo here. All right, Paco, get in there. So I can only do it in enemy recruit. Okay, so that was a misplay. That's okay. Um, I guess we just take him out with the one. And then level three over here. Fun. If this is the Blue Beetle style of play, I think I'm kind of in for it. I wonder if you pick Blue Beetle, you have to take the other one. I would assume not in the actual game, but uh, you never know. Amazo. Amazo in World's Finest. And we were just playing a World's Finest deck. Amazo in World Finest was actually the kind of won the day against Super Amazo. So that's kind of cool. So we play gold parts. This will go to five, and we just need one to ding it down. All right, bet. So we bandage, we deal the one. We deal the five. Gotta think a little bit. I wouldn't want to uh I wouldn't want to get beat by the AI on you know <laughs> in this. That would be embarrassing, really. Can't protect invincible. Okay, so basically that's nothing. So we're just gonna. Okay. Sweet. Part two completed. That was fun. Always fun to beat up on the AI. With the two villains to do, Jamie hears a voice in his head. Finish them. Jamie shakes it off and rushes to help Paco. His friends Jamie worries how they'll get away from these villains, but we got boosters! Enable flying mode. I look forward to what the uh, Scarab's voices will be in the Blue Beetle movie. I'm... let's see, meanwhile... Where are you at, Jamie? Just a guess. Birthday girl, Jamie's first best friend. Aww. Filthy rich aunt. <laughs> her aunt unsuccessfully attempts to set her up with every boy at the party. Brenda's best friend, Jamie, and Paco are nowhere to be found. Quite a cast of characters. Very diverse. Uh, as far as, like, rich aunt, regular best friend, dropout second best friend. Scramble to protect Brenda's aunt. As Blue Beetle and Paco arrive. Jamie sits Paco down and attempts to explain himself. But the scarab makes him nauseous. Silence. Do not reveal your identity. Jamie struggles to speak. That's good. That's smart. Do not compromise the mission. Because these things are sent to take over worlds. Conquer worlds, right? Ugh. Blam, blam. Open fire on Blue Beetle to no effect. Deploying countermeasures. Oh man, you know this thing's out for blood. Nope, just some doozum. Nice. Jimmy flees away. Understand what the scarab is. You are my organic host. There's no detaching from an organic host. Error, error, error. Oh, we get to fight the scarab that has a control. After module is KO, deal 10 damage to that. 
Okay. Cool. Story makes sense so far. You know, why would Jamie... He's just a regular guy. Why would he want to hurt people? Oh, man, they start with the board. Just clear the board. Oh, there it is. Let's see. You get firepower 2 this turn. The 1 damage to each enemy. Adrenaline draw a card. All right. Charge Jamie 3 times. Adrenaline. Charge 5. Get firepower this turn. Okay. We'll throw away that because it's late game. What's Jamie's charge? Deal three damage and draw a card. Lots of draw. I like it. I wonder if firepower works with that. We're gonna find out. Science. Dirty. All right, that was awesome. Not really sure what happened, but that was awesome. Sneak a card in your deck. To each enemy, so firepower two. I get it, I understand now. All right, let's uh, sneak a card in our deck. Seems like the firepower is pretty good, so we'll save that. Cool, cool, cool. Oh man. Oh man. I like the disruption if that's what it's this is gonna come with. Okay, so these are just minions, so... Okay, I wonder if the firepower... I don't think it does that, but... We'll set them down here anyway. So it does. That's cool. And then we got the firepower for this. That's four more. Yeah, let's... Well... We'll hold on to it and just... It's all enemies, so if we play stuff, we'll really be able to deal 10 damage to Jamie. No, Jamie! Alright, so we gotta end this in two rounds. Parting shot, you're. Oh my gosh. Alright, so all these are pretty set up to win. This is fun. Ooh, we're gonna kind of come down to the wire, it looks like. Interesting. Charged in three times, so I think this is. <sighs> a lot of firepower. That's kind of cool, and a lot of gold cards. So I see how it kind of all wraps up into the the gold buff Jamie thing maybe I don't know a lot of speculation to see how these blue beetle cards work in such a not real environment James family finds him oh he has a whole family that's so cute I love that not a lot of superheroes get all of it Gong is still there I don't know what that says, but I would say, Dios mio. Jamie is a brilliant and his mother spots the scarab. 
Clint's getting the gang tattoo. That's fitting, I guess. Heard that Paco went missing last night after the party and doesn't want Jamie to get mixed up in the same kind of trouble. Spoiler alert, Jamie is the trouble. She left the birthday party. Paco was safe with Brent. We gotta find Paco. Oh, and then it scans, so that's cool. Almost it's like an onboard uh onboard computer. That's kinda neat. Alright. After you activate Blue Beetle enemy, recruits get negative one. At Blue Beetle, he gets five HP. So that's just plus three to his thing. I right, know Blaster is good though, every two turns. Get an extra three. Yeah. Cross Town, the Brotherhood of Evil have returned, including their leader, Silverback. Continuing their search for the Scarab. The hunt leads them to. Paco! Oh no! Squirrel. Only Blue Beetle can stop them. On your first turn, create Paco in your hand and reduce his cost. So he must actually be a bronze, but we reduce his cost. So that's maybe why he eats up that. After he, uh, no, that's the buff I got. All right. Oh man, that's quite a bit. A lot of brown though. To get Paco anyway. Oh, we got two Pacos, so Paco's probably gonna be a regular card. Upgrade. Real damage every time you play that. Okay. Then what's he do? Fire two shots, deal one damage to random enemy, then increase the number of shots by two. Ooh, okay, so Silverback really adds up your opponent's hand and increase its cost. Okay, so that's going to slow us down. So, really, both pretty good. We can take out whoever whoever we can, I guess. So, first round, let's draw. Draw the cyborg. Okay. A little Paco for defense. Man, I wonder who Paco is played in Blue Beetle. That should be a fun role. Or summons a fruit from your deck, then teleports into your deck. Okay, that's kind of cool. Just a bandage, all right. Since that's going to teleport away, there's no point in hitting that. So I guess we're going to... Well, increase in cost shouldn't be a problem since we only play two anyway. So let's go with the silver back. After all gold, I mean, hey... More to us. Plasmus. Lethal. Parting shot. Give enemy leaders negative three. There's the one, two. That's okay. Oh. Let's take out a Paco. Oh, no. Took out that one. All right. So we got a silver and a bronze. So we will... Do that. We will gain how much you got? Five to an enemy recruit. Perfect. Oh, Andy gets a hit. Okay. Nice. I missed the hit on the last one. I wonder what this upgrade, though, is. I feel like the last time I used it, I didn't notice a difference. So many questions. Oh, yeah, we'll take Paco back. Counts as a gold. 
This is great. Oh, the grid. Man, it'd be good to have that this turn, wouldn't it? I think Cyborg can save us. Oh, no, Cyborg can't save us. Uh, we should have drawn first in case we drew a silver. Okay, well. <sighs> mistake avoided. So, three, six, one, I guess. I mean, we have to. We gotta get through that. We could wait till next turn, but he's just gonna take out. Well, he gets four shots next turn, so it's gonna wipe that. So, I think. Oh, that isn't. We gotta do nothing. We just can't do anything. Okay. Maybe we should have went the one in there. That way we had the six in hand. But I guess we're gonna play Cyborg next round, which is a gold. So. Not too big of a loss. It's Bane! I've come for your leader. Ooh, what is that? KO'd this game. That thing's gonna get meaty. We gotta get through this first, though. Alright, so Cyborg. That gives us the 7. KO that. We leave that up and we take out Bane? Well, Bane has to hit a leader. They don't have anything. They have one card. I think we're safe to go this route. Oh, a tactics card deal one. Uh, I gotta really read these cards a little better because we could have taken Bane out instead of face, which would have been the right play. Uh, that's okay. I don't think it's gonna matter. Oh, a gold with a friendly mute. Okay. So. So it's ambush now, so we can use this to do that. All right, pretty good. Definitely not going to be making those optimal plays do this, as we don't know the cards as well. Six shots, that's quite a bit. Oh, man. Probably bandage that. I'll take Cyborg back. Cyborg to fight his arch nemesis grid. Oh, shouldn't use that. Oh, six. So that's the upgrade that we get. So every upgrade he does more. So we could have six there. Save the bandages. I don't think they're gonna get through Cyborg this turn. I don't know. Five top decking. This game's pretty much over. Huh. 
convenient. Got a cyborg. Right. It ends next round. Cool. If non attack damage would be dealt to Brick, instead prevent that and he gets plus three. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so he's at four. Well, it doesn't actually matter. We'll just. Have Jamie finish it off. Oh, because that was non. Ah, okay, non attack damage. Right. Right. Or we could have just 132 there, but. Either way. Alright. Continue with the story. Jamie tries to catch his breath after defeating the Brotherhood, but the scare mask makes it hard to breathe. Now I can just will it off. Emerges and is shocked. Oh no! <gasps> Marco! Caesar! Oh, what a tragic. Trauma too severe, bro. You caused it. Reserve for host. Ah, oh, that's cool. Do it. Play directly on him. Okay, so he has a little healing capabilities. That's kind of dope. Adds a little more utility. Blue Beetle seems like he has a lot of utility, just in general. Oh, and he has to go away. Huh. Is Paco gonna die? Her home office. Nervously eyes the collection of ancient relics. Ooh. Non-rational energy surge. Oh, what the, the misguided direction. What a dope origin story so far. I wonder how much of this they'll follow in the Blue Beetle movie. I assume loosely because... I don't think they're really trying to adapt the new 52 again. Well, this is a heavy hand. We cannot take that. That is better. But man, we... Bro, we always got Paco with us, man. Up front, my guy. You're a warrior. Getting stabbed through the heart and living. Alien assistance required or not, doesn't matter. You're the dude. Ten magic spells, and, and there's three. Like it. Like the trading. And draw magic spell that are free. That's a good. That's a cool uh, power. <laughs> oh no. Poor Paco. She's coming for my biscuits. Let's draw first.
So we gotta get rid of that aura, unfortunately. It's not gonna let me. Huh, must be a... A bug. Get it? Beetle? Bug? Okay. Oh, four seven. That's beefy boy. To a recruit. Okay. That's why. Put that two. Bam. 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 And another one. Okay, so he just slowly powers Blue Beetle up through the game. I'm, I'm starting to to get it. Probably gonna take out the Lantern Core guy. Oh well. Four one two zero one now. Another coyote. Two coyotes. Oh. Okay, so we do that. Draw us a card. Oh, the blue beetle card. How do you play? You charge your leaders. Okay, so it all really funnels into just buffing blue beetle. Kind of a one-man show. That's cool. Well, we're just gonna get more. So we can... Straight jacket. One. Two. Maybe we go and take that out. I mean, that is the right thing, you know, board control and all. You guys know I'm big on it. How do you play a magic spell? Create a magic spell in your hand. Oh, that's a value machine. We got Cyborg on our side. We got Paco in here. So we're going to go five, three. We'll open the door there, but that's okay. He's healthy. I think we can get him. I think we can burst down the 14. He's going to kill Huntress. Oh, the misplays, though. Unless he's doing that just to trade. No, he's going to burn two to do that. Okay. All right. animation looks like they're up in the animation quality on some of this stuff which is nice 
because they have such good animations with like card pack openings and all this. It only makes sense to have dope board animations as well. They'll get there. We're in beta still. All right, I believe we have lethal. Yeah, 13, five, well, not quite, five, one, three, so not quite lethal. Maybe I could have replaced silence with that, but you're... What was that? Oh, a free... Okay, like a free hero power. That's kind of cool. That's a cool card. A little more for tempo. I wonder if Blue Beetle is going to be a tempo-oriented deck. Machete. Hmm. I believe lethal is a hand. Nice. We have defeated the rich ant. I'm sure a lot of people pay top dollar for that. A lot of uh, doing things and running away. Uh oh. Akko. That's how his rival becomes to pass. Oh, uh, okay. That was a bait and switch that was good. That got me. That was cool. All right. Final battle, I assume, against the Blood Beetle with 80 health. So 32. Close enough. Double Paco. The Paco, then we'll Brenda Paco. Oh. This is plus six this turn and summon a Reach Scarab. Okay, so a 3-3 after a little bit. Not a big deal. Mr. Terrific. All right. Get in there, Paco. So let's see how this thing works. Okay, so it goes back in your hand, becomes a 3-3, three, three, and you have to replay it. Kind of lame. The Reach. Not just the Reach scare, but the Reach. They are both the Reach. I wonder why he has 3-3. Three, three, or 3 more attack. Transforms into the Reach and gets plus three. I understand now. Okay. Okay. Ooh. 
do some trading here. Probably just playing a 3 3 then. Anything else? And we'll ping him for one. I'm gonna save the bandage. We might need it. There's the big reach. That's okay. Paco can take three one to take out a six three. That's value. That's the value daddy likes. Really, we're just hanging on. We're about to just flood with gold cards. Well, I guess we have three. I guess that's enough. All right. So our board begins to be built next round. Hugo, the Reach. Oh no! I think we're okay. I think we are okay. So we're gonna play our cyborg here. We're going to do a little heal. It does one all. Is it a tactic? Yep. Knock that out. We gotta draw a card. To heal 10. I don't really need the 10, that's the thing. What's that? So a bunch just a reach. Okay. That's terrific. No one really good to tear gas. The tear gas is this is basically a battering though. I need that say the big heal. Raiden. This is a fun little adventure. I always like the adventures in Hearthstone, so the adventures in this is just as fun. A little more character driven because you get like the actual story that unfolds. Play on enemy, exhaust all the others. We don't need to heal 10, but we need to draw a card. Okay, so beetle. Again, this tear gas is really just to take out this one one.
Billy should stay on his card and gets three attack, but that's okay. Pretty solid so far. We're exhausting his board little by little as he's not getting he's not getting his things back. And those little scarabs in the front are not doing much. Basically we're killing a 0-3 so that we don't have to contend with a 6-3. Oh, we just win the game. Cool, lethal. Dope. We've done it. I think that might have been the end of the comic. Oh, man, that talk no jitsu. What a smart play. He regains control of himself. Before passing out. Yeah. Oh, tough thing to live with. The destruction, the possible death caused. Jamie Rays, he got some coming to terms. It's true. The fall in the hands of villains. This world's gone. We saw what happened. Scarab's power for good. As the blue beetle. That was cool. That was super fun. Man, that was a dope. Dope, dope, dope story introduction and that gets me happy to go see the blue beetle movie now i am ready to see how it goes some more green lantern stuff it's good bruce wayne all right Let's see what money can buy well guys that was the blue beetle comic book number one completed super fun i really enjoyed it i hope you guys did too stick around for more dc dual force content as we continue to hopefully dominate all the people out there but maybe not but either way we'll have a good time so thanks for stopping by